In this video, I'm going to cover adding an image to the assets for my Flutter application. So to get started, I'll create an assets directory for one times and two times resolutions. Then I'll add an image to both of those directories. And then I'll create an image widget and wire it up and show it how it works in the emulator. To get started, I'm gonna to go to IntelliJ IDEA. And the first thing I wanna do is click on my root and right click new directory this directory i'm going to name assets you can name it images but i'm going to name mine assets so the assets i'm going to create and create a second subdirectory named 2020x and x is part of the spec at this time so i'm going to expand that to show what it looks like we have assets which is for one times resolution images and for two times, twice as many pixels, I'll put in here, the two times resolution. Okay, so what I did was went to the Material I.O. site and downloaded an example. I downloaded the Explorer icon and unpacked it. And here we have web. I also have Android iOS, and you can see they have different resolutions. For the web, there's one times and two times. So I'm gonna copy both of these images and I'll show you what I do with them in a moment. So after I copy them, I'm gonna paste them in my assets directory. Once I've pasted them in my assets directory, I'm gonna rename them something simpler for this tutorial. So they both have to be the same name for both resolutions. So refactor, rename, and I'm gonna name it the explore icon. So this will be my one times resolution. So I'm gonna move the other into the two times resolution and rename it. So I'm gonna re right click, refactor, rename the other one to explore.png. So this, if I collapse this, you can see this is the one times resolution explore.png file. And this is the twice as big explore.png file with twice as many pixels. Now that I've created the directories and added the images, I want to go to the PubSec YAML, the directions for Flutter, and add my image or images. So in this case, I have to define the section because it hasn't been created yet. And you can see that in this section, there's already notes on how to do it. So I've, I create my assets tag. And the next line I tab in, to and create my images list. Since I didn't use images, I called it assets. In this case, I'm gonna replace it with assets, forward slash, and then explore.png, and I'll hit enter. So this means I have an item, don't forget the dash or hyphen, and then the path to the image. And this is the one times image. The next step is I wanna use this image and show how it's wired up and I, how I can consume it in my application. So I'm going to go to my widgets.dart and I'm gonna create an image widget. I'm gonna create a stateless widget for my image and I'm gonna start with using the live templates by typing in stateless, S-T-L-E-S-S, -S, and there's autocomplete. And I can press on, double click on that and auto completes and creates the boilerplate. And I'm going to name this my explore, whoop, my explore widget. So my explore widget, I want to add the image to it. So I'm going to work this backwards. I'm not going to nest it for this tutorial. I think it will be easier to read for the tutorial just to work it backwards. So let's say the child, I want to add an image. So that image, I'm going to go var image equals new image. And this image will take an image, its argument will be an assets image. And I'm gonna also give it a width of 48, and it has to be a double, and a height of 48, and it's gonna be a double. I know it's gonna be 48 pixels wide and high because I downloaded the 48 DP image. After I've created my image, I'm gonna step back one more and create an assets image. So for assets, image equals new assets image and this assets image takes an argument of the location of the image the same path that was listed in pubsec.yaml so that's assets don't put a uh, forward slash here for root have it be relative assets forward slash 
explore.png. So that's my assets image and it looks like it is incomplete. Oh, I want to change it to assets image. So I'm hitting alt enter because I spelled it wrong and it gives me the proper naming for that because I have the T and S reversed. So it fixed the name of assets image. Thank you, IntelliJ. I have an assets image which is fed into the image arguments and the image creates an image 48 by 48 and if you don't give it a width and a height there will be nothing to render into. So now I've created my explore widget which I'll copy and use in the main.dart. So I'm just going to find a convenient place in here to replace something and put my image in so I don't have to do anything fancy and I've already scrolled down to the section of my page and it's build context instead of printing some pretty text of the click buttons count I'm going to change the child to my image so I'll go new and paste in my explorer widget close it with the parentheses and the type is undefined until I import the library so I'll alt enter and import the library now if I look at the top the library is imported at the very top okay so now what does this look like so if I run the emulator this time I've got Android loaded up and ready to go so I'm gonna hit run and while it builds I'm gonna change the width of my screen so here we go. I'm going to close this because of some other previous app when I was testing was running. So it's building the Android app. There we go. My Explore icon centered in the screen and this is the My Image widget. So let, let me review real quick what I did to wire this all up. So I started out by creating an assets directory. It could be an image directory depending on what you define in the PubSec deck pubsec.yaml file. Then I can create subdirectories for resolution sizes. Two times the size would be 2 period 0 x. Three times the size would be, would be 3 period 0 x. And I named the widget the same in each subdirectory. Then I go to the pubsec.yaml and register that image I define it after the assets tag with a dash or a hyphen assets it's relative forward slash explore.png then I went to my widgets which I've created in a previous video and created my widget it's a simple container that contains a child image that image takes an assets image which is 48 by 48 and if you don't define a size it won't render anything and then this assets image is fed to the image argument of the image and this assets is the same text that was registered in the pubsec.yaml okay so that concludes adding a simple image to my assets with one times and two times the resolution Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.